I would like to invite the following for the lighting of the traditional oil lamp. Reverend Vijay Dasa Varshamarage.
ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅರ್ಲಾಪ್ಟಿನ್ ಕೆಡವುಡೆ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತು ಯೇಸುವೆ ಮುಂದೆ ಕೆಲವೈಯ ಮಾಣಿಯವರೆಗಿಂದ ಇನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಸೇರ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎನರೆ ಎಂಬ ಆಳ್ವಿಲ್ ನಾವು ಪೆಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡ ಅನೇಕರು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದಗಳಿಗಾಗ ನಾವು ಯಾವರು ಮುಳು ಮನದೊಡನೆ ಉಮ್ಮೈ ತೋರ್ಚುಗಳು ನಂಗಿ ಕೊಡುಗಳು ಇರಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ವಿಕಾಗವು ಪೈಚಿಕಾಗವು ಕಡಂದ 42 ಆಂಡುಗಳಾಗ ಸಾಚಿಯೋಡು ಮುನ್ನೇರ ಇಲಂಗೈ ಇರಯಿಲ್ ಕಲ್ಲೂರಿಕ ಬಳಂಗಿಯ ದರಿಸನತಿಕಾಗವು ಬಲಿನಡತಲುಕಾಗವು ಅದನ್ನ ತಲೆಬರಲುಕಾಗವು ನಾವು ಉಮ್ಮೈ ತೋರ್ಚುಗಳು Who have taken the trouble to come 
and perhaps there are other community leaders who are not so visibly obvious to my eyes, but uh, I am overwhelmed by this uh, community here gathered together, uh, representative of the community to be gathered together in the Christ. Even through the collegiality of the fellow members of faculty, a good student, <coughs> principal, student, faculty relationship during your tenure, and also two other very, very important things, and that one is already very obvious, the presence of the church leaders gives me the assurance that they will continue to encourage you and put their weight behind you in all that the, seminar, the college is seeking to do. And of course, not last but, uh, last but not least, but uh, it is the support of the church, the people at large, that matters most. And uh, we need to be involved in this together as a joint endeavor, as people, leaders, students, faculty, and the whole community together as uh, uh, a joint endeavor. And towards that end, I do wish and pray that there is time of leadership in the midst of this audience of a community of God's people here that he is to give leadership to this theological community. And so I, for Javi, and I for each one of us. And then, the fall of him and the church together. We proclaim him, we proclaim Christ. Proclamation of Christ, can, we can never opt out. But exactly how and why we proclaim may be different. We can never opt out of proclaiming Christ because that is the calling to which we have been called. We may not proclaim him in order to convert and make people simply members of the church. We need to become conscious of Jesus' word of warning to the Pharisees' attempted proselytization. You cross land and sea and make one man a member of your own religion, and perhaps you make that person doubly a son of hell. Jesus, beyond the word of God, full, we make the word of God fully known on the basis of the revealed mystery, which is consummation of all things in Christ, which is a new human community of all communities with their own identities and particularities. A new uh, heaven and a new earth. It is that, towards that, human cooperation and human participation is anticipated by God. And we embark upon a theological journey towards that, together as theological community, as churches, and members of the community at large.
introduction to the ministry of President Dr. E. W. Divination shall be read. I am pleased to present to you a brief account of the Reverend Dr. Albert Wilbert Jevonation's life and ministry. The Reverend Dr. Albert Wilfred Jevonation, affectionately called Jimmy, is a distinguished alumnus of the Theological College of London. He is an ordained minister of the Methodist Church in Sri Lanka. He was ordained to the Ministry of the Word and Sacraments on November 21st. 1986. He has served the Methodist Church in different capacities, such as local worker of the Mandaravela and Katukale churches, minister of probation act and then minister of the Pulupitiya and the Maradana churches, minister of the Japanese church, chaplain of Japanese university, and external superintendent of Japanese Methodist Church. He is now chairperson of the central district of the Methodist Church in Sri Lanka. J.P. had his basic general education in Japna, followed by Bachelor of Theology Studies at Theological College in Lanka, then Bachelor of Divinity Studies at the Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary in India, and most recently, Doctoral Studies at the University of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom. A revised version of his doctoral dissertation was published by the Indian Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge in 2004. The book is entitled, Changing of Gods. J.P. joined the faculty of the Theological College of Lanka in 1994 on invitation. He has served the college as lecturer, dean of undergraduate studies, and acting principal. The Board of Governors of their meeting held on November 19, 2004, appointed him as the principal of the Theological College of Lanka, Pilimadala, with immediate effect. Jebi's commitment to God in Christ is being manifested in and through his loyalty to his church, namely the Methodist Church in Sri Lanka, his ecumenical spirit, his willingness to suffer for the gospel of Christ, and his preparedness to identify himself with suffering people. It was on November 21st, 1957, that Jebi was born to the proud parents of Albert and Florence. Jebi and Priyanti happily got married on June 11, 1986. They have two sons, Jason and I. Will you endeavor to seek 
the voice of God in the suffering, pain, joy, and the life of the community to which we belong. And they don't interpret the same. I will do so with the help of the Lord. We do make every effort to help in the building of a reconciling, loving and just community in this place where all are convinced of their discipleship, who together can give new meaning and life to this world.
your principle who is set over you in the law and to help him in all the duties of his calling. Bear one another's burden and so fulfill the Lord's prayer. For God, the Father, and the Mother of Jesus Christ, we thank you for continually calling us to follow your Son, Jesus Christ. We believe that you have called and inducted to JB to serve as the principal of the Theological Conference of London as he gives leadership to the equipping of saints, we pray that you will continually continue to inspire him, equip him, challenge him, and enable him to be sensitive to the leading of your Holy Spirit. Give him the courage and integrity to change what could be and should be changed. The patience to accept what would not be and should not be changed, and the wisdom and serenity to know the difference. On behalf of our college community, the Board of Governors, and the Congress, we dedicate him to your glory and for your service, so that he will have the grace to carry the cross and face the face success, failures, and indifference. Let your name be praised whatever you may have in store for J.B. as principal of the college. We commit him and his family, Priya, Jason, and Ida, as the first family of the college, to your grace and guidance. These and other mercies we ask through Jesus Christ, the head of the church, who came not to be served, but to serve. Amen. Amen.
you became poor, so that through your poverty we might become rich. Accept these offerings as a token of our gratitude for all you have done. My dear Jerry, it is indeed my privilege to bring you greetings from the Board of Governors and the four churches affiliated with this college, the Presbyterian Church, the Baptist Church, the Methodist Church and the Anglican Church. You will receive many words of advice. You will receive many challenges in your tenure as principal. I wish to reiterate two challenges that have been with the leadership of this college from the very beginning. You must work on and for and towards an ecumenical agenda. It is not enough to build trust between the four churches affiliated with the college. It is not enough to build trust amongst Christian groups only. Your ecumenical challenge is to build trust amongst people of all living religions. The second challenge is that the transformation of this church into an indigenous a truly indigenous Sri Lankan church must be given priority. Inculturation, indigenization cannot be limited to culture as presented in worship. We need an indigenous theology. We need an indigenous spirituality. And we need an indigenous theology and an indigenous spirituality to suit the circumstances and the context of the lives of the people of this country. Immersed in poverty, but enriched by living faiths. Leadership in the church in Sri Lanka. Dear Governor Sastrali, Father Commandari, Dr. Kuruni, Meshtanet Sakamini, Agarad Guru Varuni, Eva Game, Anikut Pujak Pujak Guruni Sambhavani Amuktani Eva Gene Maat Tekka Meistanet Vedam Avadal Raguni Aki Panyaluk Uttar Padayan Vansa Itamakna Santosmat Dalek Avakta Avakadi Ape Nava Devudam Sathali Vidhuhal Kutitmata अभी तक करण का तुलना उदार आशीर्वादी ये वाले में सुबह प्रार्थना होता है। सिद्ध करण में तो मेष्टाने के साथ संबंध देने के हैकिया आप लड़ीं पीड़ित बंदर पालमीयम में मां संतोषित पाते हैं वह ये वाले में आपके गौरवनीय पंजालों के सामग्री नाम से ये सातों टीया कार्य में मार्जरिटी देने पर साल वाले की मार्जरिटी मैं देवताओं साथ खड़े तुलने मैं सेवे के कपिवित विशाख खदने निशा उगतुमा ये अतंगे हादवात खाते निकलिए थे मैं कितु धामे ये अतंगे विदारी एक आवश्य करने मागे पे नींव में ते अपित इतने इन्ना बावर मेरे व्यासंधान करेंगे उगतुमा ते 
जीवित Interpret 
and understand the past and bring out meaningful explanation to the present context. From its inception of the Theological College of Lanka, maintain a vision about the theological education which can be characterized as ecumenical. Reverend Pastor Jackson, Canon Harold Dimmel, Reverend Dr. D.T. Niles, and others who founded the college in 1963 were responding to a particular situation important in the political and cultural history of our country at that time. TCL Founders' model of theological education was one response to this context. Theological education should help us to move into areas that were not part of the traditional realms of knowledge. For example, globalization, the ecological crisis, genetic engineering, all these areas seem to be outside our traditional schemes of theological knowledge. But they all influence on our life and relationships. All knowledge available to us should only, not only to expand our mind and add more information, but also to help us to discern the purpose of God for all God's people and creation. Especially all the churches were shocked by the disaster that struck our country on the 26th of December without any warning. We, are, we were all involved people and tried to give some meaning to the meaningless situation. It is in this combination of total identification with the depth of suffering and the hope that go beyond all experiences that we see the clue to Jesus' presence in our midst and the future he offers us. How do we integrate church concerns with theological education? We need courage to save unknown seas and follow the future from within the resurrection of Jesus. Thank you.
the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now. Okay. 